The first step to implement Hexel raycasting is confining the raycasts to the planet so they don't go into the core and don't leave the atmosphere. Because we're using spherical coordinates for our planet, it makes the raycasts a little more complex as we can't be certain that the z-value along a raycast will always be greater or smaller than the start or end point of the raycast. But there's a fix. If we split our line whenever the raycast crosses the tangent point, we then have two lines, one with increasing values and one with decreasing values. Next, I calculate the remaining x and y positions for each of the hexels, and you can see the raycast working in the editor. It's accurately seeing which block I'm looking at, and it's easily skipping air blocks when it detects them.